the front. Yeah, that's a good spot. Can you put the fans on first? I'm just going to test it. It fits. We're, gonna, we're not taking this out or changing or doing anything with it. It's there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we don't we're not pull this up at all. Um, we do have to cut that one off because it does interfere and that one there. Okay. Um, so those two didn't come off. Okay. And transfer the fans from that radiator over there on the wall. Okay. On here. Cap that. Okay. I hope they don't bite. Look at that. Fighter? Yeah. No, they sang. They jabbed. Uh, so that was cool. We didn't have to worry about them anymore. These holes, not big, but these rip nuts. Okay. So that was your second rip nut. You're going to do it right. Turn that up a little bit. We have the little expansion tank back here that runs the turbo cooler. Now, originally, this was mounted right here on top of the manifold. Had we done that, that would be our radiator cap position. So we said, nah, that's a bad idea. So we just made a couple little aluminum brackets. And they're gonna, it's going to sit in here, just like this. It'll sit in there just like that, so you can actually service it. We're going to block off one of these lines because we don't need it anymore. And the other one, we're going to run to the expansion tank and then right on here. And that's all we got to do. All right, we're back to working on the cooling system, putting the radiator in. And we found a little snag here that the lower radiator hose here comes directly in contact with this steering rack boot. So the later kits are going to have that moved up, but since this is an early kit, we're going to have to fabricate something. So we took a stack of washers, my washers anyway, a stack of washers about three quarters of an inch tall, put them between the rubber radiator mount and the pin on the bottom of the radiator, so it moves it up. So now we can clear our bottom radiator hose. Now we didn't bolt this in yet because there's a problem with cooling air trapped right here in this high point of the car. Okay, with the radiator in. In laying down like this, this you can trap an air pocket here, and you can also trap an air pocket in the lower hose. So what I do is I actually just before I permanently mount the radiator, we're all in. I just lift it up like this, and if you could hear this, you can hear the water running towards filling up all the hoses. So we need more water. So let's go ahead and top it off while we got it held up. No, it'll take it off. And that's filled up.